hello friends uh, today i'm going to show you how to install qt for android uh, i'm installing qt 5.7.0 and uh, before you get started with android you have to install some files you have to install these little guys these are android ndk rb13 just look at the version if you don't uh, start with the same version you will be stuck and then android ndk r13 sdk r24.4.1 and the next one is 8u91 jdk and uh, the last one is apache ant 1.9.7 being okay now let's start uh, i already opened the qt open source you ha just have to download the qt 5.74.0 for android just download it and install it i'm sure you know how to download this thing because in windows you just have to go and next and next and next and finish that that's all you have to do and now go to the second one android undk okay let's go to the undk i'm going to google Okay, Android and DK. I'm gonna open SDK again. And DK, you just have to go and download and Android and DK, just go to downloads. And for Windows, this one is R31B. I uh, just, just download this thing and just. If this comes with zip, unzip this. Okay, that's all you have to do. Now go to the SDK. Okay, now come to the SDK. Now we have to download the SDK. Just go to the get just command line tools and tools R25. Okay, we have new version here. Uh, you can download it. Okay, just download and this is zip files. So, so unzip it now next thing we're going to do is download let me start google <coughs> okay android sdk we have done and now i'm gonna jdk okay we have to download jdk java now download jdk okay uh, jdk accept this one okay now windows i have 64 so 8 u triple one if you are uh, 86 version or 32 bit you have to download this one okay after downloading this go to the google again and start with ant i'm gonna download the ant2 again i'm apologizing for my internet speed Okay. Just go to the 1.9.7 and download this one. If you want to download the zip file, that's okay. That's all. Just download these things. And I already downloaded these things, so I'm gonna show you. These are the these are things. Just install JDK, then unzip Android SDK and undk And where you have to uh, just you can uh, just if you want to um, unzip in like another folder you can uh, but my advice is just go to the c and and make a new folder for android uh, separately and unzip them here <coughs> and now come to the sdk and dk uh, that's all you have to do these are the little guys we have to download it and now come to the okay we have done here Okay, now go to tools. Okay, it's not responding. Just there's a sec. Okay, go to tools and options. Go to Android and now JDK location. Go to the browser. Uh, you will find your JDK the same address I write it here. That, that's all you have to do. 
Now come to the SDK. Browse. And then I'm going to start with my computer so you can find where to find these things. Go to this PC and go to the see where I have to unzip my SDK. And uh, now we are going to SDK, SDK, and that's select folder. That's all you have to do. Same thing with this undk folder, and that's all. And now come to the ANT. ANT, you have to do just a little effort. Just I'm gonna start over so you can find where to find these things. Just go to C, Android, ANT, ANT 1.9.7, then Beam, and then ANT. Select this thing. Okay, that's all I have to do. Okay, now apply it and okay. Okay, now minimize this thing and just go to the Android SDK. Android SDK. Go to the SDK manager. Install these things. What these are installed like SDK tools, SDK platform tools, and SDK build tools. Okay, that's how we have to download from tools. And then, if you have much larger space and you want to download these all things, that's okay. You can. That, that's it. If you don't want to download, you want to save some space and you want to just mm, download the things uh, that. Um, Working things you what you have looking for just Do what I'm going to do just download this thing Google USB drive Okay, then tools these three things and now come to them now We have several platforms here. So go to your mobile phone What type of processor and Android you have I have 6.0 if you want if you are just you you don't know what type of processor you have you can download cpu z that will show you everything on your you know, what version what are the cpu of your phone that that's all and after that you go to the sdk and um, i have arm ebi v7 system image just install these two packages and that's all you have to do and now close it Come to Qt again, and uh, that's it. Go to. I recently opened my Android test. Just, just, just you have to do go and do whatever you have to do. Just I just go test checkbox, push buttons, tools, horizontal bars grid layouts that's all you have to do just and now the next thing the next step, next step is just connect your phone to your pc then start developer mode on it and then and now go to the usb debugging mode okay here's debugging okay that's all you have to do now go to your over here build save all and uh, it will take some time okay it wants some permission just say okay okay here's your phone okay it's in uncomfortable why it is uncomfortable let's see Debugging. Do it again. Okay, I'm going to start over. Okay, here it is. Go to and click OK. Now it takes some time to build it.
here are the processes you can see them clearly Maybe it take too long. Okay, now it is deployed and now look at this, it started, okay, here's my application, come to my mobile phone, I just did these things and uh, like, well, you can see them, just, uh, that's it, that's that I did to my, um, that's application, I, I, I know it's not much good but it's at least I started these things and it's for absolute beginners friends so you can do this too so best of luck subscribe my channel for more thank you